Hello friends, welcome to my channel GoDigit. Today in this video, I would like to share three new features which Microsoft have recently introduced and uh, as you can see from my screen, these three tabs. So they will be adding this new uh, these new features from October 2025 itself. So this one, which is like cancel, build and publish from VS Code. Second one is truncate table data with new AL method. This is also uh, generally available through uh, from October 2025. And this one called view SQL call information in performance profile. This will also, as you can see, available from October 2025, which means Business Central 27. Okay, so uh, I will try to quickly explain you uh, all these three features. So cancel, build and publish from VS Code. First one, uh, as you can see, like uh, from uh, few sometimes, like if you have already updated your AL extension. So uh, from here, please update your AL language extension. Uh, I've already updated and uh, push to the pre-release version. So that is why I'm able to see this feature. Now, the thing is, for example, you build your complete project and uh, although this project is very small by nature, it have only few AL files, so it will not take much time in the production environment. However, if you're working in a, in a very big app, which has thousands of uh, objects or mm, so many objects, if I don't go by the number, then sometimes uh, for the developer itself, uh, like uh, you make some changes and then quickly try to uh, publish. Sorry, uh, for example, build the project, right? So it is, you can see that it is building a project, okay? Now uh, you try to go with the publish as well. So for example, uh, when you publish, let me do one thing. I'll comment them these functions. Okay, so for example, uh, you by mistake uh, comment these uh, this record this code or you uncomment this code and now uh, let's say you want to publish and when you click on publish you immediately realized that there is some problem happened so you have this option called cancel right sometimes it happens that uh, you realize only when you clicked on publish button that you miss something uh, which you really wanted to and then you get stuck because until and unless the project gets published, you cannot make your change, right? You feel helpless. And only after it gets published, whether it will take five minutes, 10 minutes, 10 seconds, whatever the number of time it will take, but it will take, right? But now uh, through this option, through this feature, you have this control in your hand that you can cancel at any given point of time whenever it is trying to publish your extension so in the middle of that you can cancel your uh, project and then make your changes whatever you want to right for example i will uncomment this code now uh, i'm done and i can build this project i can publish this project right so this is the new this feature basically helps us uh, especially the developers part in the vs code right second feature is called truncate table uh, data with the new AL method so uh, for example, uh, uh, truncate uh, feature is now, uh, which is a part of SQL so far, is now a part of Business Central as well. And this record dot truncate, which means that this truncate method is a part of the table, which we can use to, to delete the large volumes of data from the tables, right? So rather than uh, row by row deletions, it will directly go and delete the data right away from the table okay but it is only and only recommended for the large data not for the small tables right for that delete all is still uh, microsoft is uh, recommending few feature details as you can see from here that it basically provide the function that we can see that if it support truncation or not also, if there is any auto increment fields out there in your table in which you are using this truncate method, it will always reset to its original value. And uh, uh, some things which it is mentioning here that tables with the on delete trigger or even subscription will not uh, supportive, right? It, you will get the error. Tables with the media or media sets field. So if you are using this function which have the media fields, 
then also uh, this function will not support if you write down this function inside the try uh, function then also you will get the error or if you are trying to use the filters with respect to the flow field then also you will get the error so certain limitations also out there okay you must own the delete permissions and there should be no security filter then only it will work right so these are the few things which you must uh, review before using this procedure uh, but just for the case uh, for example uh, as I showed you my table is very very small and I don't want to uh, run any bad job to insert the records into it but as you can see uh, hmm, because uh, it got stuck in between no problem uh, let me uh, do one thing now as you can see from here I am trying to delete the records the data from my record table okay from my item summary record table and what I write down here is that item record summary dot trunk that's it so this is the whole sort of line which you have to write down in order to delete uh, the large volumes of data and if you place your cursor uh, it is showing you the all documentation which I explained you from the Microsoft article so you can see it here as well to uh, to judge whether you can use this in your table or not all right so when you publish this uh, it will automatically gets uh, delete your data rec dot truncate like this also so you can use from for the respective record or for a particular other table so it's totally up to you let me try to publish if it will and while it will publish let me show you the third feature which is called view sql call information performance profile so so far uh, in the performance profiler we can uh, able to see the data uh, with respect to the objects it traverse uh, wherever uh, whichever objects whichever pages uh, user will traverse to in order to run their process uh, it will start recording everything bit by bit and it will show you that how many object it covers up uh, which applications uh, it went through and it gives you the all sort of information but it so far was missing the SQL uh, information as well which generally the developers uh, for that uh, use the SQL profiler uh, to find out that which SQL query because ultimately uh, uh, whenever you whatever you do in the business central it goes at the back end in the database only so SQL anyway running uh, behind so it gives you the information of all the queries uh, from the SQL end uh, that uh, whichever uh, operations user will be doing like for example fetching the data deleting the data any sort of thing so it will cover up everything and showcase you the SQL uh, queries as well so that you can decide that and see that what uh, what process you need to refactor so that uh, in order to optimize the performance of the custom process so for example uh, let me cancel this yeah so page is opened up now if I try to open the item summary you can see all the data is deleted although there were only three four records so that's not a problem so as I showed you the crack dot truncate can work uh, on the record table or from the variable part it's a well now uh, if I show you the performance profiler so for example let me click on start button go back click on new uh, let's say select any few records go back click on new thousand go back new and again this one go back go back okay performance profiler again stop and show technical information and if you come up here call tree so you can see this SQL operation right which is showing up along with the BC objects 
so when you open this up you will get to see all the sql queries which system is running behind uh, your process right insert query select query all sort of stuffs select top 50 right isolation level everything so that now you can decide that based on which query is taking how much time like four seconds or like let's say it could be 500 seconds then definitely it's a problem so you can see that why it is taking so much time maybe there is a problem related to the indexing or any any other problem right so based on this you can uh, more uh, uh, help like this process will be more helpful now because you are able to see the sql queries uh, which will help the developers to optimize the performance of their custom developments so again this new feature as i showed you all these three will be apart from october 2025 or business center 27 so uh, be ready to to utilize these new features and uh, run against your custom development and please make them more optimized uh, using these uh, helpful features so that's it in today's video i hope you like it in case you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video